I'm making this video for predict psychic predictions for Scotland, particularly the upcoming Scottish referendum, the new one. Um, I'm making this predictions on the 13th of the 3rd, uh, 2017. Now, I'm, I would reference first of all that I have made predictions about Scotland before. When we had the first um, referendum, I predicted that Scotland would not leave uh, the UK. Um, got that right, but I predicted that a long time ahead of, of the events as well. So uh, at that time, you know, it was very neck and neck, but I felt it would be a broad um, decision to, to, to leave. It was pretty close. Um, but I've also predicted uh, recently, more recently, um, just before this year, um, that there would be a second call for a second referendum, which has happened and happened quicker than people expected, I think. Um, and this bid for the second referendum has happened. Um, at the time, looking at my website here, I quoted, um, <coughs> I say that a national st strike is called in Scotland in, as part of this bid for a second referendum. Now, what I'm talking about there is not a, um, a full-out national strike like the unions all out. I think there will be disruption. Um, I think there will be a big sort of go-slow from a lot of the strong Scottish supporters. And I think there will be a number of street protests about Scotland. The reason I'm saying that is, although a second referendum um, has been asked for by Salmon today, and that's the um, 13th to the 3rd I'm doing this, as I said, um, I don't think it's going to happen easily. I think there's going to be a lot of resistance towards this. I feel the Scots are going to be told, you wait till after the uh, referendum. And even if, um, you know, they're talking as I'm speaking about um, calling for something at the in autumn this year, sort of August sort of time as soon as, I don't think it's going to happen like that. If you get a second call for a second referendum, it's going to be delayed and postponed and there will be obstacles thrown in the way which is going to really anger a lot of the Scots. Now, that's me, an English person, talking. Um, I, I don't mean I don't love Scotland. Scotland's a lovely place. My name's Craig Hamilton Parker. You know, you've got Craig Hamilton, both Scottish names. And my granddad used to sing all the songs about the heather and things like that. He was Scotland mad. So I love Scotland because it's been drummed into me as a child. But um, I'm afraid I have to say to the Scots, I don't think you're going to get your referendum. Uh, you're going to get your referendum, but I don't think you're going to get your vote for leaving. Um, the problem is, is uh, there's going to be more and more thrown into the pile here about the economic situation. Last time, people were trying to vote with their heart, and many still do vote with their heart, just for a love of Scotland and its past and history. This time, the economic issues are so big that I think it's going to sway the vote even more into a stay vote and um, there are going to be other things thrown into the pot as well. What's going to happen I feel is that America's going to get a bit involved this time. Now um, Trump and the rest of them didn't like it when Obama interfered in the European election but I think Trump's going to be a bit outspoken about Scotland. It's going to sort of polarise people in Scotland a bit more. Um, you know, those that want to get out are going to be furiated by the fact that he's going to make some comments about the economic situation in Scotland and that America will not going to be, aren't going to be able to deal with an independent Scotland very easily. It's a bit of a back of the queue line I think you're going to get said there which you know could backfire. And similarly, I think Europe's going to say that they would not be able to deal with an independent Scotland. Um, there's going to be press, they're going to press to say, look, Lithuania and little countries like that can survive outside, so can we. And I think they're going to get a lot of heavy signals to say no. And it's going to cause a lot of um, disruption to economies both in the UK and Scotland. And Scotland, I feel, is going to have, country, have, have businesses pulling out of Scotland this time round. So, my feeling is, you know, here's a psychic talking about Scotland, and all that I can really say, guys, is, you know, aura best. Jane and I now do our spiritual work for our foundation. All the profits that come from things like our conferences and theatres and workshops and all those exciting things now go into this foundation which ultimately has the long-term plan of building centres in the UK and maybe around the world one day.
But meanwhile, we've been doing a lot of direct spiritual work with it. We've been going out, feeding people in India, giving to the destitute, giving to beggars. We've helped feed schools, helped orphanages, and we've even given cows to older people that have no other form of income. So mediumship can change your life, but it can also help people directly in the world. So go to the links at the end and find out all about what Jane and I are trying to do. And you can do a lot just by sharing these videos on social media. Help us get the word out. Help us to do something really good in this world. Click on this picture of me to subscribe to our channel and see all of our latest videos as soon as they're published. Or click on this next video for more of our stuff.